Okay, now that you've explored the key of B-flat, we're going to examine the two most common chord progressions that happen in Western music. So a chord is just multiple notes played simultaneously. A chord progression is multiple melodies played simultaneously. So we're going to take a look at two melodies that are the most common in Western music. And then we're going to look at how those melodies are harmonized to make the two most common chord progressions. So if you go up the B-flat scale, you might have already noticed that there are two points in the scale where the distance between the two notes is smaller than other points in the scale. For most of the scale, there's what we call a whole step between each note. So that's that distance. But when we get to the fourth degree, there's a half step here. And you might be able to hear if you play up it that that note has this kind of suspended tension to it that wants to move back down to the note below it. And that simple melody is one of these melodies that we're talking about. That's the fourth note in the scale, resolving to the third note in the scale. The other place in the scale where this happens is right before we reach the tonic again, the seventh note going back to the tonic. In these two spots where there's these half step tensions form the basis of the most common harmonic motions in music that's tuned like the piano, okay? If you play both of them together, you'll hear what's probably a really familiar sound. All right. So now we're gonna harmonize these motions. So what I want you to do is build just a triad. So build a chord like you did with the seventh chords by playing one, skipping one, playing one, skipping one, but we're just gonna go up to the fifth rather than all the way to the seventh. put this three to four motion in there and make a really simple harmonic motion like this. Okay. And then we can harmonize that motion by also moving this other voice with that voice. This might sound familiar to you. We call this this chord progression one, four, one. The reason is if we take, this is a one chord because one is in the bottom. The second chord, if we take this bottom note and flip it around to the top, you can see that now we've got a shape where we've skip one, play one, skip, skip one, play one, okay? This is called the root position of this chord when it's in this form where it's like skip one, play one, skip one, play one. We call it that also stacking in thirds. And when it's in this root position, the fourth note of the scale is in the bass. One, two, three, four, hence the four chord. So one, four, one. The second chord progression, we do the same thing with that other tension, one, seven, one. And then harmonizing it with the voice that's above it, just like we did with the four motion. So we're moving both of those voices together. Right? We call this one, five, one for the same reason that if we were to flip this around, I'll move this note, this F to the bottom. So now 
it's skip one, play one, skip one, play one. Then the note that's in the bottom is the fifth note of the scale. One, five, one. Okay, so now we get this chord progression, one, four, one, five, one. And these two motions are super common. Uh, you've heard them thousands of times in your life, okay? What I want you to do with these two motions is to practice them in all the keys that you now know. So in B flat, it looks like that. And then to invert them. That means to flip the notes over so that the same notes are in a different order. So if you started with... We're going to take this B flat and flip it up to the top. So now we have... So again, we, all we did was take this bottom voice and flipped it up here. These two are doing the same thing. And then we'll flip it again. We'll take this bottom voice, which is going, and we'll flip it up here. All right? Three notes in the chord, so three inversions. Five, one motion. Flip this to the top. Flip this to the top. And then you can do the whole chord progression. One, four, one, five, one. comfortable with those motions, you can do the same thing that we did with the seventh chords, where you're playing that chord progression with one hand and playing a scale, a melody, with your right hand. Practice doing that in all the keys on the flat side of the circle of fifths.